It's our fair part show. It's our fair part show. We all love work, say blah blah blah, friend the Joe. It's been a while since we've had that intro. I think we need to cook another one up. Yep. That's just me. I'm just putting that out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, pretty, pretty. Anyway, this is the Off Air Podcast. I'm Liam Ben. Hello there. Nice dog just walked in um, eating. <laughs> what is that? Pita bread. She does that. A tortilla? Bread. Yeah, it's a tortilla. It's probably mine from the, the fridge. Naan bread, is it? <laughs> it's, a tortilla. Up, it's a tortilla. It's a taco shell, but a flat, no, like a soft a, one. It's like pita bread. It's unreal. It's coals. Four dollars. You're walking around eating coals pita bread. Yeah, get out of my grill, Ben. Come on. Where's All the right, yeah, Bell. Yeah, hey, it's pretty tasteless. Uh, producer Andy. It's good. Present. Producer Brody. Oh, yeah. Uh, producer Tina. Howdy. Peter Mace. Hello. Uh, Ash Gardner in the newsroom. Hello. Scudder. Present. Jack. Hi. Crew's all in. Um, bit of an apology uh, to you, Scudder, for <laughs> um, what happened on the weekend. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Did you, did you want to explain? Or? No, no it's, it, it, if you don't want to. If you don't want to bring it up, <laughs> uh, that's yeah. all right. Oh, I sort of did. Um, but yeah, no. What I, happened? I, for the record, what know what do? happened. Um, <laughs> Liam should be ashamed. So, yeah. Uh, mm. So, remember back last year when you gave us all very, very generous Christmas gifts, mm. and I got a, a, a voucher for Yakimono with mm. a, a bunch of zeros on the end of it. I'm like, oh my god, this is. So we went out, four of us, and we went to town at Yakimono. Of course. Why, why racked not? Racked up a huge bill. Yeah. Yeah. Went to pay with the voucher. Um, Liam cut off the bottom of it when he printed it. <laughs> I remember the Yakimono one in particular. I was like, what a pain in it. Because I had the barcode, but they yeah. apparently they need the numbers on the bottom. Yeah, of the they need the numbers on the bottom. So. But I remember the Yakimono one got printed over three pages. And I was like, well, this is so much paper. I was just like, it's yeah. sort of, I wanted the bit that said the money amount, the restaurant, and then like the barcode, barcode. so they could scan it. Did you get it? No, nah, no, I had to pay. <laughs> but Liam, you still have it in your emails, Yeah, I've you? sent it to him now. But no, yeah, but then well, didn't, start, now. Yeah. didn't you call him on the night? He just didn't answer. Yeah, that yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, I oh. called him there. He didn't answer. Did you call anyone else? Uh, yeah, I called Bell, actually. Oh, Bell, why didn't you answer? What were you doing? Uh, what was I on Saturday night? I was at a 40th. In hmm. Bell's defence, though, she wouldn't have had the code. No, I no, don't. Yeah, because she was... had nothing to do with it. Yeah. No, I've, um, I've, I've started putting my phone in uh, different rooms to where I am. So oh, interesting. You know, so Are I you one of those people that think now. you're going to get like brain... No, I'm just like... trying not to be on my phone as much. But no, they did um, They did put the voucher through yesterday and they refunded the card that I paid with with the amount from the... Oh, that's yeah. great. So that's, okay. but it's, a bit of, it's a bit of fluffing around. Yeah. Um, what were you sorry, doing, mate. Liam? Where were you? Oh, I was out for dinner. I didn't see the call till after and I was like, oh, I'm not going to call him back. I'm with people. I'm out at dinner myself. Um, and But... Like I, I using another voucher. <laughs> yeah, p- potentially a, a text. I don't know if you were just like, man, what's the? I was, I was or a double through. call. It, then it probably would have gone off my pocket. Yeah, I was halfway I through like, a, bashing a text out to you, and they said, oh, you know what we could do? We would just um, yeah, right. yeah, do it yeah. tomorrow. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's think, fair. Liam, do you always have your phone on? Do not disturb. Yeah, well, I didn't want to be disturbed. I was so it was annoying. The Saturday when night, I, I was. To call you before, you, I was going to call twice. To be fair, if I'm out with like another couple, I'm literally in the middle of a conversation at dinner, and like. My phone goes off. Like, yeah, I think you, I, I think I, I'm you not like, hey, Scott, what's up, man? Like, I I'm like, you, I just like, I'm out at dinner. You, know you I mean? have like, it on Do Not Disturb more than you realize, I think. Sometimes, if, like, if I call you sometimes and then after I say mm. I called you and you say, no, you didn't. Yeah, it's, on, it's actually on Do Not Disturb. Yeah, it's right on now. there more often than not. Because honestly, I like now. being not disturbed. There, like, there, is I, like, a, yeah. there is a twist in this tale. Here we go. Well, because you messaged me saying, Do you know what Scudder wants? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Really? I, I, as if I'm the arbiter of the team, and I said, well. I, I, th- I said, Scudder's out playing darts. He's probably on the Terps and wants to hang out with you. Yeah. And then I had, I, that's when I saw that message first. Well, like when I picked up my phone, I saw that, and then I saw a missed call from Scudder, and so I didn't call you back. So I thought, well, I'm not going out. So I didn't call you Cause back. Because you were messaging me saying, uh, chucking so some errors here. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. So I knew, well, I knew. so being the arbiter, of, I did actually know where everyone was on Saturday night. Yeah, you, <laughs> you knew what you were doing. <laughs> you were around yeah. it. But Maybe. rather than speak to Scudder, you decided to go through me, which I think is hilarious. You know, he would have known what Scudder wanted. Scudder. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a, probably a, a very good point there. Everyone else's voucher? Yeah. Anyone else use theirs? Yeah, my Charizard works. Your yes, Charizard works. Good. Did I yours? have, Yes. Did you I flew use it home to wedding? Adelaide. Yep. Yes, yep. I had an engagement on the weekend, and it was a surprise wedding. And that should work all good. Yeah, yeah, I hate yeah. That. yeah it worked I hate well. That. Just, Macy, I hate this that. might be a personal question about the couple getting married. Are they heirs to the Lacornu throne? Yes. Oh, that is crazy. crazy. Well, I did see that. I, I saw like, the last name. My mind was, was like, like, maybe is it like Lacornu? Lacornu? Yeah. 
Do they live in Brighton at the top of the hill overlooking in a big yellow house with a Dogs big tennis court? <laughs> no, they're in Merino. No, they Marino. used to own... I think his family used to own... Like Lacorn used yeah. furniture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah obviously, because his last yeah. name's Lacorn. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, I, so, I thought it was the cooking school. No, no that's Lacorn Le en Bleu, oh, the oh, internationally oh, recognised oh, French oh, cooking oh, school. So, Macy, I know Lacorn, I don't think Lacorn exists can you get, anymore can you as get a Le shop, up, but uh, I know that, that up they, him? up we until recently, <laughs> owned music. O'Connell Street. Like, owned that big patch they, of they, land on O'Connell yeah, Street. Yeah, so 80, 88 O'Connell. They, uh, the Lacornu which... site, because um, that's where the Lacornu was on Is O'Connell Street. Yeah. Yes, and Whoa. they're building apartments. So they, oh, your, your pals must be squillionaires. Yeah. I know this because I, live across, like I used wedding. to live across the road from that, and the people in my neighbourhood were very upset about that being put up. Because they're like, oh, it ruins yeah. the landscape. It's very like an old funny oh, daddy in North Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that big plot, the big so that, plot. That, it was from that, the and then yeah. there was also the the other Lacornia site, like the big Lacornia site. Like if you're from Adelaide, you'd know it's like more. It's like, near um, Hungry Jack, Mile like End kind of Mile area, End yeah. side of the city. Wait. The reason I say that that house had that is it that the house because they have that emblem, the big red one with a, a big plaque on the side of the house. It sits really? in the, on the wall. It says Lacornu on it. Are you talking really? about on Cement Hill, that big mansion? Up near Zigzag. Yeah, Up yeah. Near the the, zigzag. I, I'm pretty sure that's knocked down now. It's like a big quarry. <laughs> no, no, it's still there. No, it's still there. My cousin lives across the road. <laughs> we saw it there in summer. It's how, just like a normal house, but how, it has Lacornu on it. It's how rich do you reckon your pals are, Mace? Yeah, they're, they're definitely doing all right. That's for sure. What do you mean? Do you know what's so Who awkward, Who was the Lacornu? Was the Lacornu the him, guy or the girl? Him, him. Right. But I grew up so with she's her. marrying into the Lacorn Youth family. What are you doing? There's a few there's only a couple of what Melbourne people here that aren't from Adelaide and they're so confused, right? Yeah. Lacorn Youth, it's confused. like but yeah. the awkward Sorry. thing was <laughs> so, da, 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 you. I've got the ad up. Mace, you go and then I'll play the ad. So the awkward thing was because I obviously spent money to fly over and it was an engagement, I was like, Oh, I'm not gonna worry about getting them a present because yep. I'll get them a present at the oh, wedding. I remember yep. that, yes. And then next minute, it was their freaking wedding and uh, I didn't rock up with a gift. Uh, so yeah, now I feel I'm like sorry, a but that's real on them. bitch. Yeah. That's on them. They did that whole, oh, actually, we're getting married thing. I, yeah, I, think, yeah. that's no cool, I think that's a cool way of doing I that. I loved it. I think it that's a cool way. It saves you so much money, man. It's a you, good, don't, yeah. you don't, you don't yeah. want to piss off the Lacornu family. Well, I'm <laughs> yeah, gonna, I'll send them a gift now that I know. What are you going to buy them? A couch? we got a whole warehouse of them. I've got the ad up here. Anyone who's blown away, Lacornu, since 1854. Whoa. That's a long time. Yeah. They come from a long line of Lacornus. 1854. Also, Lacornu, how I uh, learnt how to do the L on my signature. Just remember oh, something. Yeah, that's Here we how go. I thought. Lacornu Big Squeeze! 200 containers are on the way. So lounges, furniture, floor coverings, Woo-hoo. dining, bedroom, outdoor, must go. Prices squeeze for immediate clearance. And beatable. Plus, no deposit. 48 months interest free with no deposit. Lacornu. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Glad we got that. Out. Out. It was gorgeous. The, it was honestly one of the most beautiful nights I've ever been invited to, so it was great. Very good. Better than Better my than wedding? Liam's wedding. Well, it was just outside Be- and stunning <laughs> and Oh, yeah, no, no the intention raining. fully was for mine to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> Where does where does the wedding sit in between um, Ben, myself, and the Lacornu's wedding? Where does the Lacornu wedding sit? Mm. Well, I think the shock factor of the wedding was up there. Right, but guys, I'm not gonna. I, I don't rate do the wedding. This yeah, to rate me. the weddings, mate. <laughs> we're them. gonna wear, we're gonna address how Ben spelled Lacornu. Ben's wedding was warm. <laughs> <Ben's having laughs> a- <laughs> Condition. L E C O N U. You spell that like some sort of disease. Lecornu. I've got Lecornu. Lecornu. That makes sense. Just spell it out. How you've spelled it there. L E C O N E U A. Lecornu. I would assume that's a foot growth if I saw that. It's like oh, I've got Lecornia in my. Yeah. What? Why did he die? It's Lecornia. Got him. Yeah. Well, it's bad for old people, isn't it? Yeah. Papillomas. Because you could also spell it like this. Le. Corn, you. Yes. That's yeah, how it's spelled. Yes. Yes. Did you not read the <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dyslexic. The middle, between between the middle. Middle. Two enamored by the 1854 on the Is there a space? What, what, what is that background? Is it's that like no, a French le- background? So, how did you. So, hey, Mace Dog, how did it's you grow up with the Lacornians? It's and then uh, uppercase C. So, I grew up with Tess, who was the bride. Tess, like, Tess Cornu. Tess no. Virgo Colby, her name is. That's a big and name as well. Tess Virgo Colby. Almost feels no, because... like Lacornu's done well marrying into that family. And then they met, they're actually high school sweethearts. That's so sweet. they met, um, well, they didn't go to high school together, but they met when they were really young and then, yeah, grew up and 
bang, they just got married. They were together for 11 years before he proposed. Wow. Oh. And it was like when he proposed, it was like, oh, my gosh, Adam, well yeah, done. When you're, you're, when, you're, when you're bringing a third party into the Lacorn new family, you've got to vet them thoroughly. <laughs> oh, I yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. If I had, if I had futon money behind me, I'd probably, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd probably be doing the same thing. If you're high fair. school sweethearts. And you're only together for like two years before you propose. You're too it's young. weird, yeah. It's, yeah. You know, it's actually a good point. So fair yeah. enough. No, I think yeah. he's done the right thing there. Um, do we want to dissect the Lacorn relationship no, we anymore? Have, we have to record something now. We're, we're taking. Oh, okay. Well, way to put a cork in the fun. Um, <laughs> we'll cork, no I'll cork you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we're done there. I won that one. Very good, Jack. Uh, Andy, oh, yeah. any business, sir? Uh, no, I'm reminded of the uh, <laughs> I'm reminded of the first Prime Minister of Singapore though. If you type that into oh Google, God. the first Singapore Prime Minister. Yeah. What? The first Singapore That's Prime Minister? Ben. This is just. Oh. 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 <laughs> Very good. The fa- his name is Lee <laughs> Corn Yu. Lee K U A Lee Kuan Yu. <laughs> that is such a. Oh, what an excellent thing to be put on the spot. Anything to add? Anything to add, Andy? It was frantically googling. Lee Kuan Lee Kuan Yu. Something. Lee Kuan Yu. Do you know that? Leslie Kuan Yu. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Where's the Kwan Oh, there's the memories. Um, I remember Lee yeah. Kwan Yu. 47 right. minutes down the bottom. Right there. <laughs> yeah. It's had one viewer, Andy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Andy was its. Lee Kwan Yu. I always thought he was busy. Like, Can we get some Lee Kwan Yu highlights up there? Run a very successful company and a furniture store. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and a small Asian country. Yeah. And a city. Yeah. Right, here we go. Lee Kwan Yu highlights. Here we go. I have time. <laughs> Singapore's first Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew, left behind a legacy that continues to reign strong today. This is your victory, a victory of the people. He was intimidating with his piercing eyes and with his sharp question. And And I'm prepared to start all over again. (laughs) He was always concerned with the common man, giving the common man a better life. But you know the Singapore government is going to do this because it is right. We wanted young Singaporeans to know the Singapore story so they have a deep appreciation of where they came from. Remember this photo? I also have the uh. photo. <laughs> Memories of the man from those who right. met him. We should do this for a team movie night. We should watch the La Kuan Yu <laughs> hey, docuseries. Um, when I think of fallen <laughs> oh, no. uh, country leaders, I think of Lee Kuan Yu, and I think of oh, no. Ben, anyone else? <laughs> Mugabe's uh, <laughs> fallen oh, prime minister. Hage Gaingob, of course. Hage Gaingob, of course, the president. The Namibian president passed away this week, so just in a bit of um, and Andy political was obsessed news. obsessed with him like all yesterday morning and then put in the show rundown a minute's silence for him. Yeah, which we, the, which we didn't end up doing. Wait for no, the verse to kick in here. We can do it now. We can do it now. Ready? All together now. We work with some disrespectful people, don't we? <laughs> like yeah, I mean, Andy was yeah, very respectful in the Hage Gangob um, moment of silence there, but um, there was there was some sniggering. It's actually a joke on Bell because remember when Dietrich Mateschitz died, and this is where the Dietrich Mateschitz show joke started, and Bell just like put it 
top thing in the sod. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, like, no, oh, we guys, we've got to yeah. talk about it. And he had a break. We're yeah. like, no one, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but I did that being like, here's your sod. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. Now, whenever fun. anyone obscure kind of dies, it's a running joke. Yes. Like, get it on the rundown. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful anthem. Yeah, literally, yeah. like, literally, yeah. Yeah. you're looking yeah. at the show, you're like, oh, what's coming up? Well, it's like Eric Banner, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's the moment of silence for Huck. <laughs> like, in the moment, like, the run sheet's really there for when you're like, you come out of a song, you're like, what are we doing again? You like, look down. <laughs> like, like, oh, and up silence. next, oh, there's been a, a death in, uh, in the African politics. Um, we'll have to stop down on that next. Well, you know how they've all got names like ours is Advanced Australia Fair. Yeah. The oh, Namib- yeah. Namib- oh, Namib- the word. Can't say Namibian. Can't say the Namibian national anthem's called Namibia, Land of the Brave. Mm. Love that. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Oh, Wonderful. by the way, mm-hmm. can we just discuss the bloody bloke that scoured the I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty like, wild. That yeah. was Pretty so wild. hectic. I'm hoping we get some more news on that. I, I'm hoping we yeah. find out a little bit more about that. Well, the <laughs> TV crew's just interviewed his mate. And oh, really? Like, oh, really? Oh, he's was doing it for, it for attention. He's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, it? what are you doing what do you think? What do you, what do you reckon you get there? What do you, like, you'd, get, you'd get sort of a fine for like the services that had to come out at least. But then what else do you get? Like, is it? We haven't really given context to what we're talking about. Someone scaled a building in yes. Melbourne. And this and morning we did a cross and checked in and asked what was going on there. Mm. That was very well done, by the way. I was very engaged listening to that. Thanks, Macy. Well, Macy's happy. So on the car, yeah, I was. I I, I like that one. Oh, I could nice. tell from your <laughs> WTF <laughs> <message>. <laughs> Wonderful guys. Well, let's uh, let's roll on with the day, shall we? All right, let's God bless us. On. Yeah. Look on you. All right. Bye.